Hello, I have finished reading the novel Only Revolutions by Monty Danielowski, and this video is a review of that novel. Um, I would say that I rank the novel uh, very highly, probably a 5 out of 5 stars, and um, I still don't know if this video is going to be a spoiler video, where where uh, you should only watch it if you've already read the novel, or just a review to get people to consider reading it. So I wrote some stuff down about it that I'm going to refer to as notes in this video. Um, first of all, the video, or sorry, the novel, uh, chronicles two different plot lines. One, one is Haley, and one is Sam, um, and they're, they're two 16-year-old teenagers who seem to have run away from home or something, um, and meet each other on the road. Um, so it's a sort of road trip, road story, uh, partly taking place inside of cars, or different cars, many different cars which is a weird aspect of the novel, where uh, every once in a while, well actually quite frequently, the um, two characters, Haley and Sam, switch cars. W one might be a Pontiac, and then the next minute it's a Ford, and then the next minute it's something completely different, like a pickup, or a blue pickup or something. Um, so, the two, uh, the two teenagers meet each other uh, kind of randomly, and first of all, there you read one person's perspective, either Haley's first, this way is Haley's, and then this way is Sam's, and uh, the two storylines are basically the same storyline, each concerning the other character, but there are things about um, about each plot that differ from one to the next. So the same scene might um, be described differently uh, between Haley and Sam. So, um, like I said, I have really positive views of this book. Uh, I really enjoy reading it. Um, it is very hard to read. Uh, it's written in a very almost uh, surreal style, surrealist, stream of consciousness style. And um, after you read it one way, you flip it over and then read it the next. Um, and as the novel begins from each side, you have, I don't think you can really see it, but you have bigger text that you're reading from the beginning. And then as you uh, near the end of that storyline, the text you're reading on each page of that person becomes smaller and occupies less of the page. And so when it's time to flip it over, it's that same process of reading. Um, Danielowski has, uh, I haven't really heard that much about what he has to say about Only Revolutions, but he describes it from my understanding as being one of his novels that requires the reader to step outside of themselves in order to actually finish or actually um, understand anything that the novel says. Um, it's written in a really unusual style where um, the point of view of each uh, character sometimes veers towards being almost egocentric or um, us versus them, where things are randomly kind of described um, with something like, uh, I am all of the dreams of whatever, and they are just those dreams uh, unmet or they are those dreams lost or something, so uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but um, uh, I don't know. 
and also um, a lot of the vocabulary is um, intentionally misspelled or rearranged, like alone is always spelled with two L's, also is always spelled with two L's. Um, oftentimes a word will be made from the joining of two other words that may or may not be related. So um, here are some examples. Schlick, screeching, uh, shillippering, delinquescent, schnippering, or sh schnippering, quibbering, gone going, pad padding, moon udders, opposements, hummering, slippering, gamblings, slam sweet. Um, so, yeah, I guess it is a very um, unique type of um, a unique type of writing, and I'm right now just trying to think of ways that the two people's plot lines, Haley and Sam, differ without actually giving away any spoilers. Um, but Haley, um, Haley's storyline. Um, might be described, um, or H Haley might run into things that concern Sam in the same way that Sam experiences them concerning Haley instead of as them concerning himself. So things um, sometimes are the same in the storylines and sometimes aren't. For example, um, when I was, I read Haley's section first. And um, as I uh, neared the middle of her section, um, there's a really surreal um, hospital scene where you don't really know why they are suddenly inside of a hospital trying to deal with something. And then you find out um, from Haley's perspective that Sam has um, been poisoned by alcohol. He has drunk too much alcohol and is now in the hospital dealing with it. Um, but in Sam's section, um, it's, I believe, Haley who gets sick. And um, I would say that if you start it, if you start Only Revolutions and think you might like the style of writing that is immediately apparent from the beginning, then stick with it, definitely. Um, and it is a it is kind of a trippy experience reading it, um, reading basically flipping through the whole book, and then um, knowing that you then have to again read it read it the same way, or the opposite way, but the same number of pages basically. So um, that I guess that's basically my review. I made a review that I don't really want to give away too many spoilers. Um, but I, I do like to analyze this novel, and I'll be looking through a lot of the quotes later to, just later on in my life, that I underlined. I did do a lot of underlining in this book, because it is packed full of, um, little literary jewels and, um, good, good poet. It's a, it's a very poetic style. It's written almost like a book of poems instead of a novel, um, instead of, um, a novel that most people may read or most people have experience with reading in their education and high school and whatever. Um, and in Haley's section, everything in bold are themes um, that are plant related, like morals and mulberries, bold, silky lupine, bold. Um, prairie, coneflowers, dandelions, raspberries, all these words are bold in Haley's section. In Sam's section, the words that are bold have to do with different, um, different animals, not different plants. Um, from this random page, I see kit foxes, striped skunk, muskrats, western woodpeckers, all of those things are bold in, in his section. Um, what the novel is about is a little bit hard to describe because it's um, 
uh, there are scenes that indicate um, and outline a plot that is taking place that could be described, but more or less it's um, an experience um, of, of, of a budding relationship between Haley and Sam that um, takes place in almost a random way where uh, random things could happen. Like I said, they'll suddenly be in a hospital or they'll be at um, an extravagant, weird type of dinner party with random people that are described. Um, but for the most part, it takes place outside with um, different uh, ideas um, of one another, of Haley's ideas of Sam and her um, her feelings about their relationship, or about her love for them, or about or about her love for him, or about his love for her. Um, but I would say definitely read it if you're a Danny Lowski fan or a fan of um, modern of modern literature. Um, Danny Lowski is a great is a great author, uh, and I like all of his novels. I'll probably this is my first book review, so I'll probably be reviewing um, some of some all the things I've read by him in the past if I can. But um, I don't really like Only Revolutions more or less than the other things I've read by him. But it is a very um, different style than probably anything you'll ever read. So I hope you go for it. And I hope to hear some thoughts uh, of different YouTubers uh, about this video. Like I said, this is my first book review. So I hope that... Um, I can inspire people to read the book or spark some interest in analyzing the book from people who have already read it. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you watch my other videos if I make any. Have a nice night.